Hello, my name is Joe. Welcome to my channel where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today I'm doing the very fun shim installation on the Barazza Sete 270. You can do this on the 270, the 270WI, or I believe even the, the 30. Before that though, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Again, that helps me out a lot. I'm a small creator, so uh, you know, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead, bring this over to the counter, and then I will get started on doing the shim installation. Okay, we're back. I have the Barazza Sete here, and I have my kit and the two shims. So every Barazza Sete comes with this, this whole setup. So if, it, if you are using this grinder for espresso only, I highly recommend installing at least one of these. I'm actually gonna install two. They say on, um, I've, I've heard from different people that this accounts for about three to five um, full notches in here. So we're gonna do both to give us like a total of somewhere between six and 10. So uh, let's take the beans out. So you're gonna flip this key. So it was here, I'm gonna flip it there. Take the lid off. We are going to give that a little turn. Dump the beans. Oop. Yeah, there's some beans that get stuck in this little thing there, so I think we're good there. And then take your barazza and then uh, try to flip it a little bit to get all the residual beans out there. Okay, so we got the beans out. We got everything ready to go. You're just gonna turn this over. You're gonna take this uh, little holder here, you're gonna push it down from the back and over, and then you're gonna take your uh, the notches here and you're gonna turn them all the way to the coarsest setting, and then keep turning. And this will come out. Now you might have a little bit of beans left over, so you know I'll uh, kind of just dump that in, in this extra container. We'll dump that out later. Okay, so yeah, we're good to go here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this other Allen wrench. Gonna pull that out. Now we're gonna just start on doing this. Make sure you're holding this plastic part. Do not hold the burr because they are very sharp. They will cut you. So if you're doing this and you're not taking that piece out, you're just gonna, there you go. Hold those sides. Okay. Okay. So this is out. You're gonna pop, pop this shim off, or the, I should say the burr set off. I'm just gonna put that right there. There's some coffee grinds on there still. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take these shims, make sure they're pretty clean, so I'm gonna kinda wipe off there. So put the shims on. I'm gonna put both of them because like I said, I was fully all the way to the finest setting on, on, the, on these beans here and it was still pulling a little pretty quick. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put both of them on and then we're gonna take that burr. We're gonna throw it right back on. It's, it'll line up exactly with those screws. There we go. And then Hold this on from there, from the bottom. Put your screw back in. Hopefully you can see that on there. Give it a couple of turns and then start working it in with the Allen wrench. It's in there. Keep going, keep going. Okay, so now that this screw just came to the bottom, right when you start to feel it getting tight, switch to holding this part again. And then don't overdo it, just give it a nice firm push. Once it doesn't go anymore, you're done. Okay, so now to put this back on, see this blue notch here? You're gonna line that up with that blue notch there. So you're gonna push this directly under there. And, whoop, there we go. And then you're gonna start turning this direction. Look at that. All right, we are good to go. So now I'm gonna bring, bring you all back to the espresso machine, and we're gonna pull a shot with all this set to the finest setting. So hopefully, my thought is we should choke out the espresso machine now that we've put two shims in. Okay, on the left side, we have the 
two shims at the finest setting, or I guess it really didn't fully let me go to the finest setting. It kind of choked out the grinder. And then on the right side, we have the no shims right out of the box at the finest setting. So as you can see, we are now able to completely choke out the espresso machine after installing the shims on the left side. So maybe go with one shim instead of two, but I think it's a great install and upgrade. Okay, so you've seen the two shots get pulled. Clearly we were able to choke out the, the machine. Not only did we choke out the machine though, maybe you should only do one, uh, one shim. After doing this, I'm noticing that once I go to the finest setting on here, you're, you're choking out your grinder now. So maybe just start with one. Um, that's probably what I'd recommend. And maybe I'll take my, my extra that I put in out. But I thought this was a fun experiment and I highly, highly recommend you put at least one of those shims in because again, at least for me, I was all the way at the, at the last setting and you saw the shot. I mean, this was coming out, you know, pretty fast, faster than, you know, some may like, and you definitely wouldn't be able to get a ristretto out of it if that's what you want. So thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next one.